Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Ledger Nano X. So let's get started. So Ledger has just released a new firmware update for the Ledger Nano X. A lot of people get really stressed out when they have to update their firmware. I have talked to a few people who during the firmware update have glitches or problems with their device, but these are very rare. And you have to remember that you're not going to lose any of your crypto as long as you have your 24 word recovery phrase written down and stored in a safe place. The worst case scenario is that your device will glitch and you'll need to get a replacement in order to do the restore to regain access to your crypto. So if you're worried about this, it's probably a good idea to have a secondary one just laying around the house in case your go-to device glitches out, right? That is your worst case scenario. But your normal case is going to be that you're just going to update your firmware and move on with your life. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not that difficult. Don't get freaked out about it. It's actually much easier than it used to be. So all we need to do is launch our Ledger Live, right? and you'll notice down here that there's a little blue dot on Manager. This indicates that either there's a firmware update or there are apps that need to be updated. So whenever you see this blue dot, you should head over there and handle this. You want your device to be running the latest firmware and the latest apps. Don't fall into the trap that you want to just keep plugging along using the old software and the old firmware because you're afraid to update your firmware, right? That's not going to serve you well in the long run. This device needs to be updated and running the latest software and firmware, as well as your Ledger Live also, right? Ledger Live software will need to be updated periodically as well. All right, so let's go into Manager. All right, now that we're in the Ledger Live Manager, you can see up at the top there that it's recommending that we update our firmware. So uh, now in the old days, you had to disconnect and reconnect and do all kinds of crazy stuff with two fingers and holding down buttons, but uh, you don't have to go through all that anymore. So just hit Update Firmware. All right, it's gonna uh, give you some uh, guidance here. Like I said, you want to make sure that you've got your 24-word recovery phrase written down and stored in a safe place in case anything goes wrong. But it's very rare that things go wrong. So I'm going to click that and hit continue. All right, then it's going to download the update of the firmware. You can see your device will say processing. All right, and then it's going to show you that identifier there. Now it says firmware update on the device. So all you need to do to check that identifier is to use the metal button to scroll over to where it shows the identifier, right? That might be a little confusing for some people. So just take a look at that identifier, make sure it matches. This is just a fail safe. It's in two pieces because it's too long for one screen. And once we've verified it, we'll hit the metal button again and advance over to this part where it says perform update. All right, and then we'll hit both buttons and then we're gonna need to enter our pin code again. All right, and once we enter the pin code, you can see there that now it's in update mode. Like I said, you don't need to disconnect or reconnect the device at any point during this. You just need to re-enter your PIN code when it prompts you. All right, and then once again, it's going to ask us to re-enter the PIN code, so we'll handle that. All right, and then once we re-enter the PIN code, you're going to be at the app screen and it's going to be empty, right? Now, uh, don't panic. All that you need to do is reinstall your apps. You haven't lost anything. The private keys are all still on the device. You just need to reinstall the apps. Now back in the old days you had to do it manually but now they have this little button here which will conveniently reinstall all of the apps that you had on there before. So just click this button. Alright, you're gonna click Allow Ledger Manager, hit both buttons. 
All right, you can see there that it has it remembers all of the apps that you had on there before, and it's simply going to reinstall them one by one. So just keep your device connected during this process. All right, and then when you're finished, it's going to tell you that all of your apps have been successfully reinstalled. You can see them up here along the top. And then that's it. There's nothing else you need to do. Uh, I'm not really sure why they give you uh, this. It says you can now add your accounts. That's the generic message that it usually gives you uh, when you install new apps. All right. But in this case, all of your apps are prob the ones that you already had on there before. And I'm assuming that you already have accounts for them. So you don't need to go add any more accounts, right? Just hit manage accounts. It just takes you over here. You don't really need to do any of this, right? All you can, all you have to do is go back over to accounts and you can see that all of your accounts are, are there where you left them, right? You don't need to re-add the accounts. They're still there and they're still, they can still be managed with your device, all right? So yeah, there's, a, it's a little bit confusing. It's not always uh, straightforward and clear exactly what you need to do. Uh, but this is it, right? All you need to do is let it reinstall the apps and then just go back to the existing accounts that you had and you're back where you started, right? You're good to go. All right, so that's it. Successfully uh, updated the firmware and uh, are now ready to go. We've got the latest version of the software, the firmware, and all of the apps that we're using. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.